What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Ooh, what is this? I can finally show you. Guys, introducing Strabango Magahita energy drink, collaborative stuff with Ghost. And let me tell you, this is the best energy drink you're ever gonna have in your entire life. And it's available on September 9th on the website and at every vitamin shop across the entire country. Oh my God, that's amazing. And this isn't the only thing we're coming out with, but we're gonna get to that later. But guys, I have a very, 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 very special guest coming into town all the way from where the players play in Hotlanta. I'm gonna give you a little hint because I have to do a little outfit change because this, this isn't alpha. Boom! Gentlemen, how do we look? Do we look fresh? Do we look alpha? You can just call me Alpha Max, Alpha M for short, but I don't want to give away who the guest is just yet. I gotta go do a bunch of notes. He's gonna be here in like 35 minutes. So I, I am so excited for this. I'm so excited! Whenever I think, whenever I say I'm so excited, I think of, do, do you guys know the Save by the Bell? It's like where Jesse um, is like taking like the, like the sleeping pills or whatever to stay away from caffeine. And she's like, I'm so excited! I'm so excited, Zach. I'm so scared. Zach, I'm so scared. Just me? I don't know. Why am I so weird? I don't, this is too, too early in the video to be this weird. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Gentlemen. Oh my God, it's so foggy. Hold on. <laughs> YouTube, Whoa. say hello to the man, the myth, the legend, yeah, what's up, Mr. Man? Aaron Marino. Good to see you. This is Christian. Yeah, what's up, bro? How you doing, what's man? Happening? Yeah. I'm nervous though. For for whatever reason, I, I tell Christian, I'm like, okay, I'm I'm kind of nervous. I'm like, <laughs> I get to actually meet people. I feel like I know, but I've never met them. It's no. like I'm starstruck. So thank you so much for having me, gentlemen. What's going on? It's gonna be a great time. And you know, you dressed up, so I had to I had to dress up. Look at that. Ever forward, it makes. Of also course, of course. Nice. I love it, gentlemen. Hit the link. Ever forward, <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. Get All your right. camera ready. I'm gonna uh, give Mr. Aaron a tour and then we're gonna hop into the pod. Um, right. The cool thing about me is that I'm older than a lot of guys on YouTube, right? I'm 40. So am I. 40, uh, I'm 46. And so, you know, and I'm so thankful that I had failures and a life and dreams before I ever found any type of, you know, success on this platform. Yeah. And so I feel like it really. Not keeps me humble because I hate when people say that, but I just, I'm always like every day I get up and say the same thing. Don't fuck it up today. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I just want to say that might be my favorite potter we've ever done. Look at this. Look, we even got Max to loosen up a little bit, little, little I, third look, button action. I, I think the two button is the casual. He says the two is still oh, conservative. Oh, all the sexy dudes With are the, going through. <laughs> what do you think of the podcast? Man? Oh my God. It was, it was so much fun. Um, I've been on a bunch of podcasts, but this honestly was the most natural and just felt really good. You say that about everyone, right? No, I don't actually. Uh, but no, it was, it was, there, there's just so much cool shit that we got to talk about that only certain people get yeah and like you get what everything i was saying and yeah, I'm i am super it. smart too. it wasn't just that it was that we were just talking about a lot of things that kind of you know we understood each other and uh so it was really cool it was really the cool. longest podcast like two hours a little bit over two hours so if you're into not only just the social media realm um and like from the like starting point way back in the day when youtube yeah was was, was started or just business you're gonna absolutely love it, it comes out in a couple weeks we're a little bit of ahead, but uh, make sure you follow the podcast. Check it out. And obviously, you guys you guys know Aaron. What? We're gonna go put him through a workout. <laughs> okay. You ready? We're, we're gonna see how much he can deadlift. <laughs> All right, so for the workout, we are going to have the brand new, you thought the energy drink was the only thing? No, 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 no. Strabango Magahita in the pre-workout legend and the pump. The pump is if you don't want all the caffeine, you're hitting a late workout, or you just wanna to add to a sick vascularity, we have you covered. So we have three amazing products all coming out on September 9th, which is my birthday. So if you're ever like, I don't know what Mac to get Max for his birthday, why don't you just pick yourself up some delicious energy pump or pre, and I'm telling you guys, if you combine the powers of pump, the powers of pre, and Strawberry and mango magajita sour strips. You're gonna have the most insane pump of your life, dude. It's so good!
Aaron, Max, how old are you? 46. Okay. I, I have a wide range of an audience on my channel. Yeah. What advice do you give people being in your mid 40s yeah. of like your mindset on fitness and like your fitness goals as you get older and how have they like evolved? So when I was younger, all I wanted to be was big and shredded. Like that was it, right? But as I've gotten older, you know, it's more about like just consistency, but not just with your workouts. Your diet is like a huge thing, right? And so for me now, it's about making sure that my body is healthy, that I look good with my shirt off, but I'm not obsessive about being super lean or shredded or huge and jacked. Turns out the older you get, the less you care about having a shredded six pack at all times. You wanna have life gains, and then the gym gains are just like, you're like, as long as I can maintain. Exactly, you wanna look good, you don't need to look like you did when you were 22. Yeah, or like 30 or 32. Joe Slow rapping in Joe Blow's basement. I apologize for it before, so either accept it or you don't. And let's move on if I'm shown that I've grown. All right, so after about two and a half to three weeks, and three, four. finally getting the car back. Well, they had to replace the entire door panel. So I'm getting a Bronco. Literally replace the doors. What are we gonna do moving forward? If you ever see one of those big old poles at the gas station, I say stop. You say don't touch me. You there. say get away from me. My car. You don't know me. Look at that. You would never know. Look at that. Oh. All they had to do is give you brand new doors. All right, so huge shout out to their new name, Paragon Automotive and Collision. If you guys are in the Houston area, you need any work done on your car, you maybe got into an accident, or a giant concrete pole just came out of nowhere, make sure you hit them up. I'll put their address right there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head into the office. By the way, in the last video, we talked about why humans need butt cheeks, and a lot of people were saying that you need your your butt cheeks to walk. And I'm like, guys, I use my legs to walk, not my ass. You know, sometimes you 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 guys think you know everything, and you just really don't. It's like, my why, why, why how do I use my ass to walk? That's stupid. All right, so today is a big day. We are officially leaving the Alpha Elite Distribution Center, which is cleared out that you can see, but we have about 30 pallets of clothes that we are gonna go store in our other warehouse. You guys cleared out the entire site. We sold about 60% of the remaining inventory during our moving sale, and right now we are officially shut down. Everford is no more until we're prepared for our next launch in our new distribution center, which we have not. I know in the other video I said we found one, but now I'm looking for one that is local in Houston to hopefully save a little headache if we ever need to go get something. It actually might be more expensive, which is frustrating, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, Everford is completely shut down for about a month or so, kind of bittersweet, but we're gonna regroup, refocus, and come back stronger than ever. All right, real quick, I was about to head home, but I just got a notification that something got delivered to the Sour Strips warehouse that I, <laughs> I, got, I got to show you this, because it's crazy. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. By the way, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all, do you appreciate when I did that little car transition? Cause you're like, oh my God, the car's pulling up. Oh my God, the camera's picking up. But Max, he drove the car and now he's out of the car. How does he do it? How does he do it? It's a sick angles, dude. You know, it probably makes the cool things that I do in videos less cool when I ask you if you saw the cool thing that I did. I don't know. All right, check this out. An entire pallet of these Strabango Magahita energy drinks. And I'm telling you guys, this is the best tasting energy drink you will ever have in your entire life. You probably think that I'm lying, but listen up. When you try this, when you put this sweet elixir in your mouth, you're gonna be like, <laughs> Max was right. Oh, it's so good. You know, and this is too many damn energy drinks just for me. How about, how about this? How about we give some away before you can even buy them? I'm gonna give five people an entire case of this energy drink. I'll choose the winner in the next video. All you gotta do, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below using the word butt cheeks in the, in the sentence, and then put your Instagram handle at the end of that. If you can follow those three simple directions, like the video, use the word butt cheeks, leave your Instagram handle, I'll choose five people to win a case. And I'm just, guys, this is the best! <laughs> Let me ask you a question. First of all, if we didn't work out today, does that make us bad people? No? This makes us lazy pieces of shit! Second question, why when you get the Bose headphones do the insides just like deteriorate over time? It's so dumb, like are my ears some sort of magical 
uh, fabric deteriorating. It's because you're an elf. Cartil you're an elf. But I found these uh, replacements on Amazon because the Bose ones are like $35. These were like 15. Bose, more like blows. How do you put them on? How do you put them on? All right, 25 minutes later, I have completed and good as new. I still think no one looks cool in these things. You look, you think you look cool wearing these at the gym? No, you look like an idiot. I look like an idiot. We all look like idiots. We're just a bunch of idiots. What are you doing? Filming a try on haul. Try on haul for what? Clothes, because people want to know where I get my outfits from. It's like a big, no guy is ever like, Max, where is your outfit from? But girls, every single time I post, Batman on my story, I get like 10 DMs from girls. They're like, where's her outfit from? I need to know. You have such good style. Thanks, babe. And then afterwards, I block all their asses because I'm like, don't talk to me. I have a girlfriend. That's mean. I'm just kidding. Uh, you want to go to dinner? Of course. Okay. Uh, whack the lens. <gasps> all right. So a little friendly dinner at a place called Thai Cottage here in Sugarland. I started off with a delicious, what's the soup called? Tomka. Tomka soup, it's like coconut, it's delicious. And then we get this little chicken basil right here. I got the medium spice. Do people kind of think you're a bitch if you get a medium? Like, do you have to get spicy when you go to Thai? Because I, I can't handle spicy. Like, I want it kind of spicy, but I don't want it too spicy. But I want it spicy, but I don't want it too spicy. That's like pretty, pretty good. By the way, I want to give Joe a huge shout out. He thought it was gonna have the worst view podcast and it's actually crushing it. Yep. You have the second most comments mm -hmm. of any of the podcasts I put out. I didn't even have to get a boob job. <laughs> it's crazy, man. People, people like you, dude. Uh -huh. You know, it, it's true what they say. Although slow and dangerous behind the wheel, giraffes still can serve a purpose. All right, so you guys are in for a treat. You haven't seen a movie review in like years on this channel. We're obviously gonna get ourselves a slushy. If you're a psychopath, you only get one flavor. Um, I'm gonna save Psychopath, psycho, psycho raff, psycho giraffe. I'm gonna put Coca Cola up here. I got. I don't think I can do the diet thing, guys. I just. It's just. I got the candy. I got the, the Slurpee. Who, who, who cares if you're shredded? Um, the movie we're seeing is called The Invitation. It's about this girl who has this long lost cousin, and then she meets up with him, and then she like goes to the house, and then it, it's like a, it's like a knife. That's not. It's not. It's not like. It, I'll give you the review. <laughs> As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. We have to walk up. What is this? <laughs> it's what we do! <laughs> it's no, it's not. Ready? Alright, so it, it was a lot less of this and more like, I want to suck your blood! What do you give it? What do you give it? Get in here! Five out of ten. What? Really? <laughs> Three out of ten. What? If I could request a refund. <laughs> Joe, talk louder. They can't it. hear you. That was the worst we've ever seen in my life. Like Sherlock with Will Ferrell might be the worst. That was right right there. That was terrible. What do you give it? I give it a two out of ten. I'm leaving. Two out of ten. Okay, I get I get it was okay. I give it a six. What? I get I give it a I give it a six. Where I just think that it was if it's bad, but I enjoyed it. I, 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 I think if you're gonna make a scary movie, it shouldn't be BG 13. It should be R. I think that's just dumb. You know what's not dumb though? This video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna wrap it up here. We have an extra especial podcast going up tomorrow with Miss Mona Brown. Rosie? Brown. Rosie. Check it out. Do you see yourself working with me? Forever? What else is there to do? What? What like career goals do you have? I don't have one. God damn! Really? I, I could have sworn you'd known. No. Oof, God, that conversation's over. <laughs> Mona, yep. you have an OnlyFans? Yeah. What the fuck, Mona? I never knew this. It's weird. How much money are you making on OnlyFans? More than I make here. What? I suck. Yeah. When do you think Felix is gonna stop pooping inside? That's the thing is, I, I don't know. And that'll do it! Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips. And ever forward! Thanks, dude.